A woman who claims to be Natalia Barnett's biological birth mother has come forward to say that she is a child. Well, this is an interesting turn of events, isn't it? Welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte Dobre, and I'm coming at you with an update to one of the biggest news stories of the year. Subscribe for all the tea, turn on the bell so you never miss a video. Now let's get into it, shall we? Natalia Barnett, who has a rare form of dwarfism, is at the center of an adoption scandal in Indiana, where her adoptive parents are being charged with neglect of a child or dependent for abandoning Natalia and moving to Canada. The Barnetts fled after Natalia started displaying violent behavior and threatened to kill them on several occasions. With the help of experts who are certain that Natalia was an adult, the Barnetts had her legal birth year changed to 1989, making her 30 years old. I'm not going to spend too much time reviewing the story. If you're coming back here, you already know about it. And if you don't know about it, I'm going to leave a few links in the comment section so you can get up to speed. So. A Ukrainian woman claiming to be Natalia's birth mother says that her daughter is definitely a child. Natalia's birth mother was found by three Daily Mail reporters, Will Stewart, Svetlana Skarbo, and Ben Ashford. The woman's name is Anna Volodymyrovina Gava, and she told Daily Mail TV that she was forced to give up Natalia 16 years ago when Natalia was only an infant. At the time, Anna had divorced Natalia's father and she couldn't raise her on her own. Natalia's father has since passed away. She said, I quote, daughter, forgive me for what happened 16 years ago years ago. Visit soon for me to see you. We are waiting for you. You have two sisters and two brothers. Natalia's older sister, Yulia, is 20 and she's actually pregnant, so Natalia would actually be an aunt in a few months. Daily Mail also managed to track down the documents from the orphanage that took Natalia in after her mother, Anna, gave her up. She was admitted in October of 2003. The document that was provided would support the fact that Natalia is a child, 16 years old today. Born on September 4th, 2003, 6.25 in the morning, if she was given up by her mother 16 years ago. Natalia stated the orphanage for five years until she was adopted by an American couple in 2008. During a very emotional interview, Anna also said to the Daily Mail TV, I quote, They told me there are good people in America. They will pay for everything. The child will be normal. I was told that they would do a surgery which I wouldn't be able to afford. They said the surgery was $80,000. Six months into her pregnancy, Anna learned that Natalia had a complex pathology. Her last memory of her daughter was a baby with quote, short little legs, short little arms, and she had no neck. Her doctors also told her she should give Natalia up and that she would need to be chained to a chair or bed. Damn, who are these doctors, yo? The couple who initially adopted Natalia gave her up in 2010, at which point she was adopted by Christine and Michael Barnett. Three years later, the Barnetts moved to Canada so their prodigy son could study physics. They only moved after they legally had a judge change Natalia's birth year from 2003 to 1989. And they say that they paid her rent for a year and set her up with an apartment. They hardly abandoned her. Natalia spent time on her own and according to reports, she studied at an adult institution so she could get her GED. She is now living with another family in Indiana who believes she's a teenager. I'm a big enough person to admit when I was wrong, but in order to confirm that this woman is Natalia's birth mother, there would have to be DNA tests done. But I, like many of you, were pretty convinced that Natalia was an adult, and that convincing wasn't done lightly. There were medical experts who did bone density tests, a dentist who examined Natalia's teeth, and they vouched for the Barnett's claims, the claims that she was an adult. There were psychiatrists who believed that she was older than she said she was. There were claims made by people who knew Natalia to be an adult. Natalia also admitted herself that she was an adult. She had periods, she had pubic hair, and she had an advanced vocabulary. She had adult medical conditions. She was diagnosed as both a sociopath and a psychopath, and the Barnett's claim she also tried to poison them by putting bleach in their coffee, and that she attacked their other children. But on behalf of IO, we apologize to Natalia. This is obviously a very confusing case, and we were relaying claims made by experts. We didn't tell you anything that wasn't true. These were just claims, and they're not facts. That being said, it's important for me to make sure you guys have the full story on this. I definitely learned a lesson, a lesson I continue to learn every single day, and that lesson is don't form an opinion until you have all the facts. In defense of the Barnetts, though, I highly doubt that they would have abandoned Natalia if they weren't absolutely certain that she was an adult. So the people that are saying that they're monsters or whatever, they're just not. Their main argument is Natalia is an adult sociopath who's masquerading as a child. They had a judge legally change her birth year, and the courts also overturned a request to change Natalia's birth year back to the original date. For now, Natalia's mother, Anna, wants Natalia to return to the Ukrainian city of Mykolaiv when she turns 18 years old so they can be reunited. I'm really anxious to see how this story unfolds. From the photos of Natalia's mother, they do resemble each other. They both have similar brown eyes. What do you think, friends? Are you convinced Natalia is a child? Or do you need to see some more evidence? I don't know, man. I'm looking at the photos of Natalia's mother and they do look alike, like they really do. We will keep you updated on this one as the story unfolds for now. It is time to respond to some comments for my last video on Natalia Barnett. Proof Natalia Barnett is an adult. That's awkward. Ashley Burbank said, if you read the Barnett's personal account, when they left her, they had no other choice as she was physically attacking their children to the point where they thought she would cause permanent harm or death. The way they left her was still so kind 
kind considering the fact that she was constantly attacking them and their children. They showed nothing but kindness considering. I mean, I hate to say, but this all just sounds like one giant misunderstanding. Christina R said they can't look at her dental records. They actually did have a dentist look at her teeth and he also claimed that Natalia's teeth indicated that she was far older than she claimed to be. Random Life said, bro, what the hell? Yes, that. <laughs> all right, that's it for me. That was a really painful video to get through, but it's all right, it's over. I can take it. I can take it. I can take it. Oh my god, I'm scared. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. And if you want to keep watching, we put together a playlist for you with a bunch of videos just like this one. We'll leave some links down below so that you guys can get up to speed on the story. Make sure you subscribe for a news outlet that definitely admits when they're wrong. And I will see you in a future IO video.